Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So let's have a look at the banks right now. And um, right now, there's actually looks like there's, there's a lot of bullish sentiment that's happening right now with the banks. Mm. And so let's go have a look at the banks. First, we're looking at JP Morgan here. Let me delete this off screen. But firstly, there's no one on, on the short term on JP Morgan here. There's no one really in control, right? So we have, which means like it's pretty much a sideways, not dirge on. But if we have a look, <laughs> if we have a look at this run down and run up, if this continues to go through here, this looks like it's building some sort of a bull flag. Nice run up and then a nice sort of pullback through here, right? So if this continues to go sideways and then we get a nice big, nice up bar, that may be the start of a nice up move. So getting a lot of bullish sentiments right now out of the J JP Morgan. Let's go have a look at, um, we'll go have a look at uh, Goldman Sachs. And you can see here, right? Look what's happening with Goldman Sachs. We're getting, we've got this, got this sideways move, but look at this move down. We're at this longer term resistance, but notice we had this strong move up and we're getting this very, very, very weak pullback here right now. So if we continue maybe in a, a bit more of a weak pull, a bit more of a pu weaker pullback, or if we start to break above this 205 level, then, wow. Goldman Sachs, the next major resistance, uh, if it starts to break that 205 level, is at that 230 level, as you can see, right? So if we start to break up, and due to the fact that we've had all this sideways movement, for you guys that have been following me for quite some time, sideways movement is what? Sideways movement is fuel, it's energy. So if we start to break up and out, then we're now likely to go for a nice run. Um, so we're getting a lot of bullish sentiments right now in this here. Uh, let's go to Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America looks almost pretty much pretty much identical to Goldman Sachs as well too. Rally up and then a bit of a slight weak pullback through here. So it'd be really interesting to see what happens there with Bank of America. Same sort of thing. With, uh, uh, let's go have a look at Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is actually looking. Look at this here, right? We're starting to build, starting to build a a, a, a lot of positive momentum right now in Morgan Stanley. Why? Because if you look at this here. What do we have here, right? We had a low, we had a slight higher low, didn't we, through here? And then we had this high, and then we had a higher low. Now we've had a higher high. So as you can see, right, we're starting to slowly step, step up. And if we create some sort of high low through here, then Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley may be getting ready to go for, a, Morgan Stanley's not the only one that's actually hasn't, it's nowhere near, it's no, uh, no, forget, forget that. Um, so there we go. So that actually may be once, if we start to break that $46 level through there, cause it looks like that's the level through there. So we have this $46 level through there. Yeah. We break that $46 level. Then it does look like the next sort of area is where it's likely to run to is that $50 level there. So if we continue going sideways through here, then we get a nice break above these resistance levels through here, this 46. Then on the short term, as you can see, the for short term is like it's likely to run back up to the uh, the fifty dollar level. Um, did we look at Goldman Sachs already? Oh, you already looked at Goldman Sachs. Uh, Morgan Stanley. We looked at Morgan Stanley. Um, City, Citibank as well too. Um, look at this here, right? Just sideways, sideways. Look at all that sideways phase. Sideways, sideways. I'm telling you right now, guys. When the banks do break, we're gonna we're likely to. Go, we're likely to go for a nice move in that direction. Um, because we've just gone sideways now for how long? One, two, three months. It's just like, wow. Um, so if we break to the upside, a break, break above this channel here, then Citibank is probably going to run back up towards its highs up here at 75. Uh, oh, that's actually, that's, actually sorry, that, that's not the highs, but that's the, that's the next major resistance level through there. So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. So wow. Wow, there's a lot of bullish sentiment in the banks right now, and if these go, if, it, if if this happens, then my goodness, you better believe that Dow Jones is going to break its previous highs. We're going to run up to new highs, and the Dow Jones is going to go for a big run as well too. Um, so you know, all, all of these stocks that we're looking at right now are looking very, very, very bullish. And if we do start to get some nice movement, nice break into the upside. Uh, it could be a nice, nice move. And once again, we're getting a lot of bullish sentiment right now. So 
if once again guys if we do break above these resistance levels through here be prepared for a big run because the market has gone sideways for quite some time which is an energy building phase and when it breaks it's likely to release that energy and go for a nice run i'm not telling you to place a trade based on that because you still need to set up even if it does even if we do break above that that doesn't mean i'm going to trade it right i still need to make sure that the setup meets my rules so but this is just general advice here that on what's happening right now. Let me know what you think in the chat box below. What do you think is happening with the banks right now? And um, yeah, really, really interesting stuff. Before you go, I am giving away a free trial to the Master Trader Lab with all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now. I'm running a special over the next few days. So go to mastertraderlab.com to get a free trial to all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com.